in this video we will learn something about icl icl is a procedure done to correct refractive error uh, patients who have minus power up to minus 20 diopters and people who have plus power that can be created up to plus 6 diopters. Now ICL is a soft flexible gel lens made up of collagen and a copolymer material called as collamber. Now collamber as a material does not cause, cause any reaction in the eye. ICL procedure is a popular alternative to LASIK and PRK since it does not require any removal of corneal tissue. Star company introduced the first ICL for treatment of myopia in 1997. Implantable collamer lenses, formerly known as implantable contact lenses, were first approved by US FDA in 2005. Till now, more than 1 million cases have been done worldwide and the need for this procedure will keep going in as as of now we have about 1.4 billion R myopes which will eventually become close to 4.8 billion by the year 2050 as per the prediction now let us now let us see which patients are eligible for icl so patients should be in the age of uh, 21 to 45 a power of minus 3 to minus 20, astigmatism up to 6 diopters can be corrected. Having sufficient anti chamber depth and corneal endothelial count, have a stable power, should not be suffering from any eye diseases like dry eye, glaucoma, iritis, cataract, and retinal issues. So, procedure is if the patient is taken in the OT, this is essentially a pain free or painless procedure. There is no injection involved, it's done under anesthetic drops, it lasts for about 10 minutes. And patch is opened after three hours, and then patient is on patient is put on protective glasses for two weeks. So uh, to show some steps of the surgery, here we can see that the lens comes in a bottle, and uh, it's picked up with a cotton tip applicator. It is so delicate that it cannot be handled with a forceps. But it is then inserted into a cartilage and that cartilage is then put on to an injector and then the lens is ready to be introduced into the eye next a 3.2 millimeter incision is fashioned from this 3.2 millimeter incision this lens which has been folded in the cartilage is introduced now as the lens comes out it slowly undergoes unfolding and then it's sits in the front portion of the eye then with gentle manipulation the lens is pushed behind the brown area that you see that is called as the iris it is pushed behind that and then the surgery is finished post-operatively uh, some instructions need to be followed Few of them are you should avoid water contact for two weeks, apply the drops as they are prescribed, you should not lift heavy weights for at least two weeks. The reading laptop activity is allowed from third day onwards. Attending college office can be resumed after five days. Visual recovery is quite rapid. However, in the early post-op period, patients may see occasionally halos. Now, halos are nothing but a ring around a source of light. So, in the early period, uh, this is quite common. But then, with time, this totally settles down. So, there is no specific treatment for this symptom. In general, after nicel procedure, Patients become spectacularly independent and majority of their activities or daily routine work they can accomplish without the need of wearing glasses. After ICL, more than 90% of the patients don't need any glasses. A small percentage of patients may still need a very small power to see very long distance. 
just like any surgical procedure Tysel also has a potential risk of developing infection and if picked up early its majority of these infections are treatable raised intraocular pressure is a possibility after the icl so patients might have to use some medications to control eye pressure this is in a, in a small percentage of patients it can also happen in patients with high vault to understand what is vault we have we should see this figure where you can see that the icl is in front of the natural lens and the distance between the two is called as the vault and normally that wall distance is between 250 to 750 microns if for some reason the wall distance is more than 1000 microns as seen in the second figure then the chances of increased eye pressure is there in such a scenario either the lens has, has to be rotated or it might need an exchange now in icl if the patient has had an toric icl it is meant to remain in a particular axis in the eye occasionally it may rotate in the eye as a result of which the effect of the icl may get reduced so in such rare instances patient might have to be taken in ot to re restore the original position data from various studies across the world has shown us that out of every 100 implants one or two patients may develop cataract in the long run why does cataract develop again we need to see this icl and lens distancing so the other extreme of this is when the vault is very low that means the distance between icl and the natural lens becomes very narrow less than 100 microns or so the lens may actually come in physical contact with the icl and that's where cataract formation starts but this can be uh, arrested early on if you can notice it and if you can measure it then in such a scenario this lens can be removed from the eye and a bigger sized lens can be exchanged or icl can be removed permanently then the chance of cataract formation is not there so most of this icls are done in patients who have high myopia in high myopia recta which is the innermost layer of the eye is inherently weak and they have they stand a chance of retinal detachment any time in their lifetime following an icl a detachment risk is always there and in case that happens patient has to report uh, urgently because uh, these detachments can be managed by surgical treatment and they have a very good recovery and success if for some reason the icl doesn't suit an individual it can always be removed or it can be exchanged and this procedure of removal and exchange or exchange is not at all complicated the same incision through which it was inserted it can be comfortably removed in one go so so to conclude the icl is an excellent option for patients who are dependent on glass it's reversible there is no tissue damage involved it improves quality of vision and also improves quality of life and that's the problem reason that it has more than 99% patient satisfaction rate